Been around the ocean since I was a kid I don't get to see it much these days This morning I walked down to it just to say I did And damn if it didn't take my breath away I guess some things are just that Welcome to the 56th annual Beaufort Water Festival. 56 years of tradition, 300 years of history. Welcome to the 56th annual Beaufort Water Festival, where Hargrave is proud to be the Admiral of the Fleet. We at Hargrave feel very privileged to be a continuing sponsor of the Water Festival. Enjoy it and have a great week. Welcome to the Water Festival. As the Mayor of Beaufort, it's very exciting to announce this time of year where we spend 10 days outside, mostly in the park and on the river, celebrating the unique history, culture, um, and particularly the natural beauty and, and assets of, of Beaufort County. And the Water Festival always provides something for everything, something for families, something for children, something for adults, and something, even adult beverages at some of the events. There's music, there are games, there are competitions, um, and most importantly, there's just a friendly gathering of people who come from far and near. Well, it is that time of year again, and I am here with the 56th Commodore of the Beaufort Water Festival. Welcome, Bob Bible. Well, Melissa, thank you for being here, and it's a pleasure to uh, be out here in this gorgeous day at the Waterfront Park uh, celebrating the 56th Beaufort Water Festival. Well, there's so much going on here. We not only have the Water Festival, but we also have the Tricentennial of Beaufort, South Carolina. It is, and uh, that's how I chose my theme this year, 56 years of tradition, 300 years of history. We've got a basically a historic city, and the Water Festival has been part of that history for 56 years. That's the longest running festival in Beaufort, South Carolina, and we're very proud of it. It is a wonderful event, great family atmosphere. People come from all over the country and all over the world. Absolutely, they do. And uh, some people, we've had uh, marriages based on people who attended the Water Festival. We've had uh, people who uh, plan their vacations around coming to Beaufort, South Carolina during the 10 days of Water Festival, and it's a full 10 days too. And we're here at Henry C. Chambers Park, a wonderful venue for this event, also the waterfront. I imagine that this is the crown jewel for the city of Beaufort. Well, we think so. So as you do your uh, interviews with everybody else, ask them that same question, I think they'll agree. This place is going to be rocking July 15th through the 24th. Sounds like a great time. Very excited to be here for the 56th annual Beaufort Water Festival with Commodore Bob Bible. And uh, to Beaufort, happy trails. I am very honored to be here with Sammy Gray. Sammy was the third Commodore of the Water Festival. Hello, Sammy. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And I, I guess you're looking forward to this year's festival, I 56th look to, annual? I look forward to every one of them, especially this one with Bob Bible. He's a good friend. I bet you have, being the third Commodore, I imagine you have amazing stories. My idea was to start something in the summer for people to come down and visit with. And our first festival may have had 5,000 people here. One year we didn't have an air show. And uh, Ed Pike says, well, i got a good friend lives in Aiken. He said, he's got an airplane, and I think he knows a couple parachuters. Well, they didn't judge the wind blowing down there like it is right now, for instance. And it went yes, up in there, three of them did. And they jumped out the plane. Cale Yarborough from... Uh, uh, Spartanburg. Spartanburg, the race car driver. Yes, sir. He ended up on top of the dentist's office over there with his parachute. <laughs> Another one landed on the steeple of the church, the Baptist church, we had to get him down, and one was out in the water. It, 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 just, it, just it was a great show, but it wasn't planned that way. And one of the greatest assets we have down here is this beautiful park. It really is it, it, lovely. It's, it's absolute. I don't know that we could, if it wasn't here, I don't know that we would have been successful with the festival. Uh, and, it, and it being as big as it is now. And everything is volunteer. You realize there's probably over 300, closer to 400 volunteers that work on this thing, and a lot of them take a full week off during the festival week 
to prepare for it. I love it. I, I, I've been here all my life, and I'm beautiful. This is a great place. It is beautiful. I don't know how anyone wouldn't want to come to the Water Festival. I'm here with Captain John Robinson of the City of Beaufort Fire Department. And while this year's Water Festival promises to be spectacular, we don't want to forget about safety. Captain John, I know you have some great tips for everyone who's going to be visiting this year's festival. While you're in the park this year, we'd like to remind you to drink lots of water. Uh, Heat-related health emergency can sneak up on you very fast and ruin your day. Uh, also while you're in the park, be aware of where your, your exits are. The, the way you came in may not be the fastest way out of the park. Also while you're in the park, be careful with your cigarette butts and, uh, and cigar butts and let's make sure we put those in the proper trash receptacle. Also, we'd like to remind you to be responsible on the water. Take care of yourself and look out for your small children while you're uh, on or near the water. Uh, most of all, come to the park, enjoy the water festival activities, have fun and be safe. Thank you so much, Captain John Robinson. I'm very honored to be here with Larry Rowland. He is Professor Emeritus of the University of South Carolina at Beaufort. What can you tell us about the 56th annual Beaufort Water Festival and the history behind that festival? Well, it has a wonderful history. Uh, Beaufort has always been centered around the water. I mean, they've had activities on the water since uh, before the Civil War, boat races and sailboat races and then motorboat races. And uh, in the mid-50s, as a promotional event and uh, as an event to attract tourists to Beaufort, they decided to celebrate that. And um, it's been a fabulous success uh, ever since, ever since 19. 56, and because the Marine Corps was here, they managed to convince the Blue Angels to come to the, some of the very first water festivals in the 50s and 60s, and I remember that as a child. I grew up with a water festival. It started out as a local event, but it wasn't that for very long. I mean, it became very popular very quickly, and it has remained that for 56 years. People came from Hampton and Colleton and different places. People that were going to go to the beach anyway came by. Now they do come from all over, and um, it's, it's one of the signatory events of a very famous little town, which Beaufort has become. It has become that. And not only is it special this year because it is the 56th annual, but it's also the tricentennial of Beaufort. That's right. This is the, the 300th year of uh, the charter of the town of Beaufort, which was uh, issued on January the 17th, 1711, making Beaufort the second oldest town in South Carolina. It was a commercial center. It was a residential center. Um, it became, for a lot of people, before the Civil War and after the Civil War, a retirement center. Beaufort has always been some form of a military installation, from the Royal Navy in 1748, uh, to the U.S. Navy in uh, 1877, to the U.S. Marine Corps in 1909 and 1915, to the present day. Um, it's always been a town that either hosted or was supported by the military. And of course we would like to thank the U.S. Marine Corps for their involvement here at the Beaufort Water Festival. How lucky am I that you say Headlining this year's Water Festival is a double bill with hot top 40 country artists Josh Thompson and Lee Bryce. Friday night. I won't be lonely long. Hey Melissa, thanks for that introduction. I look forward to performing at this year's 56th annual Beaufort Water Festival. We are proud to be a part of the festival and Beaufort's 300 year celebration. We'll see you Saturday. South Carolina's own powerhouse, Lee Bryce. He brought home 67 bucks a week. Bought a little two bedroom house on Maple Street. Hey Melissa, thank you so much for the introduction. I'm so excited to be a part of this 56th annual Beaufort Water Festival. And you know what? I'm excited to be a part of the festival and a 300 year celebration. We're about to have some fun. He'll say pull up a seat It'll only take a minute To tell you everything I'm very happy to be here with Rick Griffin, the owner of Downtown Marina. He is right here in the hub of the Water Festival. This year is the 56th year. Yes. It is also the tricentennial for the city of Beaufort. Yeah, it is. So, that what does that too. mean to you, Rick? Well, it means, uh, you know, just another reason to celebrate uh, while we're having the festival and hopefully it'll help it turn out and, and have another successful festival as, as all of them have been. How many years is it for you? Well, I've been in Beaufort for all of these. I don't 
I'm not quite old enough to remember all of them, but um, it would be 56. This is 56. So. That's wonderful. Yeah, right. So this is a great event for you. It is a good great event business. for us. We look forward to it every year. It's uh, one of the highlights of the summer season. Well, we certainly do appreciate the sponsorship of Rick Griffin and Downtown Marina. I am here with Buddy Johnson. We are out in front of the beautiful Best Western in Beaufort. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Buddy's the Assistant General Manager of the Best Western and he is looking forward to this year's water festival. Do you have any stories that you can tell us, Buddy? I know that being right here in the center of town, right across from Henderson Chambers. We've seen 20 years of water festivals here, all sorts of crazy things, but it's always been a lot of fun to be part of the festival and be a sponsor. I'm very happy to be here with Kevin Kufia. He is the owner of Modern Jewelers. Hi Kevin, how are you? Hi, how are you doing? I'm Good doing to well. See you. I know that you're looking forward to the 56th annual Beaufort Water Festival. We are. We, uh, we really enjoy that time of year. It's a special time with traditions and having old friends and, and neighbors coming back downtown and enjoying the waterfront park and all the activities going on. Well, and uh, we like to see them on Bay Street as well. We certainly do appreciate your sponsorship. And if anyone is out at the festivities, they can certainly stop by Modern Jewelers, see Kevin, and maybe pick up something lovely for themselves. We look forward to seeing you. I'm here with Craig Reeves. He's the owner of Sea Eagle Market. Hi, Craig. How are you? Very good. How are you? I'm good. Well, this is the 56th Water Festival, yeah. and I understand that you are donating all of the bait for the children's fishing tournament. Absolutely. It's our fourth year um, providing the bait for the children, and it's a good event. A lot of fun for the kids. They enjoy it. Well, that's so nice of you to do that. We sure do appreciate that. I understand you also have something else that you're doing for everyone, and that is shrimp boat charters. Well, shrimp boat tours, the two weekends. Uh, my brother will have his boat up here, the Bubble Way, and we'll be doing shrimp boat tours the Friday and Saturday, both weekends. He also offers charter boat uh, tours, shrimp tours, sunset tours. It's a new business that he's developing. And on Thursday, June the 21st, there's a supper, the Low Country Boil, and your company, Sea Eagle Market, is providing all of the shrimp yes, for the Low Country Boil. Yes, ma'am, 1,400 pounds. That's a lot of shrimp. That's a lot of shrimp. I'm very pleased to be here with John Harvey. How are you doing, John? Doing quite well, thank you very much. Well, I know that you're excited about the 56th annual Beaufort Water Festival. Absolutely, absolutely. Look forward to it every year. And I know that Harvey's has a very special part right. that they we, play. Yes, we have been. With the last number of years, we've been what they call the uh, crow's nest, and where a lot of the Commodores come in and, and with their wives and things like that, and they um, use the facilities and stuff like that um, to keep cool and Keep, keep away from the crowds and all that things and uh, just you know just kind of mingle with everybody and everything like that and it's uh, something that we can do every year because we always close down and uh, I go to the mountains in the cool area and uh, we let them use the shop. I'm here with Chip Jenkins, Director of Operations for Plums Incorporated, a longtime sponsor of the Water Festival located right here on downtown waterfront at Bay Street. Hi Chip. Hey how are you? Good. So you're looking forward to this year's water festival? Absolutely. Every year we look forward to the, the water festival and its return to our beautiful uh, downtown waterfront park. So I, I imagine you're going to be busy. We're hoping to be busy, absolutely. Uh, we've got a prime location here uh, right outside the festival gates. And um, yeah, we do a, a nice little business here this time of year. We certainly uh, we're open for lunch and dinner and uh, for late night for, for um, people to come in after the festivities are over. Hi, I'm Shannon Erickson. I'm the state representative for House District 124. Welcome to the 56th annual Beaufort Water Festival. It's my pleasure to see you here today and I hope you enjoy the Beaufort Waterfront Park and indeed the entire town of Beaufort. With the 56 years, the festival brings us a legacy of fun in the sun. Commodore Bob Bible and his wife Colleen and the entire Water Festival crew have worked tirelessly to make this festival one of the best ever. Thank you for being here. Thank you for visiting Beaufort. We hope you enjoy yourself. Have a great time and enjoy the 56th Annual Beaufort Water Festival. Hi, my name is Tom Davis. I'm State Senator from Beaufort County. Welcome to the 56th Annual Beaufort Water Festival. 
This is the time of year where all of Beaufort County gets together to celebrate the water and have fun. And we open up our arms to everybody throughout South Carolina and the Southeast. We are the longest running all volunteer festival in South Carolina and I hope you have a great time this week. Thank you all very much and have a good time. Hi everyone, it's Nikki Haley and I just want to take this opportunity to welcome you to the 56th annual Beaufort Water Festival. There is no place prettier in the state of South Carolina than Beaufort and I'm so excited to hear that Beaufort celebrating its tricentennial. We look forward to everyone having a wonderful time in this great weather in our beautiful state of South Carolina. Thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you soon. We are being toured around the beautiful Beaufort River by Graham Summerall. Hi Graham, how are you? Hey, how you doing? Good. Graham is our boat captain, but he is also an employee of Hargrave, who is the title sponsor for the Beaufort Water Festival. What do you think about their sponsorship and what does that mean? I think it's great. Hargrave does a wonderful job of giving back to the community. And I think they show support to our customers as well as the customers back to the company. Proud to be a member of the Water Festival. Thank you so much, Graham, for showing us around the beautiful river, and we hope that you'll join us at this year's Beaufort Water Festival. Every morning I get up before that rooster crows, headed straight to somewhere I don't even want to go. Eggs and bacon in my belly and a phone. Coffee buzz, good old radar detector, it protects me from the fuss. Well, I do what I gotta do to get through working at nine to five. It's killing me, but then again, it's keeping me alive. It puts the gas in my truck, butter on my biscuit, couple bucks when I'm itching for scratch off ticket. That poker makes me broker every Saturday night, but I still got running water and they ain't cut off the lights. Come Friday night, my friends and I start peeing. Them labels working hard all week puts the beer on the table. This year's water festival held a very special meeting as it coincided with Beaufort's 300th birthday. What made this event spectacular was our community, our sponsors, and each and every one of you who attended this amazing celebration. We'll see you at next year's Beaufort Water Festival, the event of the year.